Okay, today's video we're going to be configuring the Eaton 5px UPS uh, to work with other servers via the network. Uh, so what I've done is I've plugged the Eaton UPS via USB into one of my servers and then I'm going to go ahead and download the power management software they have available. The particular power management software I'm going to download is the Intelligent Power Manager. There's a link for it here. Once you download it and finish installing it, it should automatically pop up in your browser uh, to the page. But if not, it's pretty simple to go to. So we can navigate to the Intelligent, Intelligent Power Management by going to this URL, which is local to your system, 127.0.0 colon 4680 default. So that is the localhost address. The default login information is admin. The password default login is also admin. It's prompting us to change the password. We're just gonna hit OK for now. Now once we're here, we have to figure out what the IP address of the Eaton 5px is. Now I wasn't able to figure out a way to actually view it. So if we go to auto discovery and we click on quick scan we will see that the IP address of the U Eaton UPS is here. It is uh, 192.168.1.203. So we're going to need to remember that because that's going to be important. Also, we're going to go ahead and configure SNMP v1. So if you go to system, if you go to system and double click on scan settings, uh, this window will pop up and you can edit the different types of uh, connections that you'd like to make. So we're going to leave it as SNMP v1. And now we're going to go to our Unraid server. Now that we're looking at our Unraid server, we're going to want to go ahead and go to settings, UPS settings, and configure our UPS to work with this thing over the network. So we're going to say start the APC UPS daemon. We're going to say we are connected via Ethernet, USB. UPS type, we're going to set this to SNMP, and for device, we're going to enter in the IP address of our UPS. Click apply, and wow, that connected incredibly fast. So we can see that the UPS is in fact online, has 100% battery, approximately 40 minutes of runtime, and the current load on the UPS is 255 watts. Pretty cool stuff. That actually connected really fast, so that was pretty simple. And from here, we can tell Unraid to shut down um, after a certain battery level threshold is met or uh, a certain runtime threshold is met. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as default 10 minutes for both. That seems adequate. And now we're done. There's nothing else we need to do. So here you go, Omnis X. I hope you got everything you needed out of this video. And I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you all next time.